An Austin community angrily divided over the deer that roam their yards and neighborhoods. We'll hear from the city tonight. Folks in Northwest Hills are split over the animals. New at 6 o'clock, David Scott reports there will be a meeting over at Doss Elementary School tonight about this, and the city intends to have its say. David? Leslie, we got a big turnout here. The meeting has just started. We've seen fights like this over deer before in Lakeway, for example. Some people love the deer, the ambiance they provide. They even feed them. Others consider the deer dangerous nuisance. So everyone's going to have their say tonight, but in the end, the city of Austin will likely have the last word. Surveyors estimate there are 400 deer or so in an area more suitable for 100. Some love the animals, feed them. Others complain the deer eat their plants and create a hazard on the streets. The issue has stirred passions. I feel like the deer were here first and we're the encroachers, not them. And I think that it's fair to learn to live together. The city paid a consultant $6,000 for a solution. The recommendation, shoot or trap the deer to thin out their numbers. The city rejected that, but will start enforcing the ordinance to stop folks from feeding the animals. That's tonight's message. No other options are being considered. I know there have been a lot of rumors about trapping and some other strategies, but it's important people understand is that the city is only considering enforcement of the ban and continued education. That may not please the trap or shoot advocates, but it's fine with the deer lovers. I think that's reasonable. I think that... All along, that's all we've been asking for is just to educate people and enforce that so that we don't have overgrowth. And really, the feeding is what's encouraging the deer to populate. Stopping the feeding should disperse the deer eventually. There have been some decreases in the concentration of the deer in areas where, in areas where people that were feeding have stopped feeding. So we know that it works, but don't know how long it'll take. Well, the problem with the option of trapping the animals is that the deers tend to panic. They injure or even kill themselves. And the idea of sharpshooters roaming the neighborhoods here was just too unpalatable to most folks. In Northwest Hills tonight, David Scott, KXAN, Austin News.